Hello YouTube land, it's Debbie from the Canadian Crotcheter. Today is Wednesday, November 2nd. I got it right. Um, I don't know how long it's been since I've been on, but I got some stuff that I finished, so I figured I'd get on here real quick and show you. I don't know how long it's gonna be till I come on again, cause you know, life, right? Uh, what have I been up to? I, well, this week, uh, the Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, well, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and today it's going to be just basically sitting around and crocheting because my little Oscar, the li not the old demented dog, Oscar the younger dog, well he's not that much younger, he's still 11 years old, um, I don't know, her, he hurt his leg in some way so he's been limping like crazy, I took him to the vet and there's nothing broken, nothing like that. So they think that he just jarred his leg. So he's been limping, uh, which means, and so I need to try to keep him from moving too much. So I get to sit with him. Win-win, <laughs> right? He gets to rest his leg. He is on painkillers now. He gets to rest his leg and I get to crochet. Um, but anyway, so that's basically what I've been up to. Um, we are gearing up for like, you know, I'm already starting with Christmas shopping and all of that stuff, so I've been busy with that, trying to figure out what do people want. Um, anyway, but in between, I've been crafting. So the first thing that I want to show you is a knitted item. Uh, I think I mentioned before that I want to try to get better and better with stranded color work, um, and I came across this pattern. It is a free Ravelry download, um, and is by Creek Creeks. Huh. I'm not sure who it's by actually. Lindsay Onkin. Anyway, I'll leave a link for the pattern. And as you can tell, it's a Stormtrooper hat. And my son, my older son, is a huge Star Wars fan. So I made him the Stormtrooper hat. Now, I'm going to put it on. It is a tad big for me because he has a bigger head than I do. Uh, yeah. I am so pleased with this. So it's like I said, it's a bit big on me, but I am so pleased with this. It came out, it actually looks like stormtroopers. <laughs> so that'll be going in his stocking uh, for Christmas. So I got that done. Uh, then for my future son-in-law, uh, my, my younger daughter has been with this young man for a few years and this past summer I was accused of not liking him and I'm like what do you mean what, what do you mean of course I like him I think he's a great guy she says well you didn't make him a blanket I'm like okay I had no idea that he was a blanket kind of guy that he would even be interested so I made it a mission to make him a nice uh, and they're buying a home together so I think that this will fit really well in their new home they're not gonna get it till end of next year it's being built but Anyway, uh, I made him this. Let me, it is massive so you, I cannot show it all to you. So it's like this. Oh, let me show you. Okay, you're not gonna see it all. It is massive and it is soft and squishy because it's made with blanket yarn and it is using the Jacob's Ladder Stitch. Now, if you've done the Jacob's Ladder Stitch, the idea of Jacob's Ladder is you crochet, then you do a chain, and then you do another series of crochet, etc., etc., and then the chains at the end, you pull one chain through to the other one, and it creates this laddering effect. But I found a YouTube tutorial, actually there's a couple of them, but I found one that I followed where you don't have to chain. So the problem with the chaining is you don't really know what size, the width of your blanket because you're making it and then when you go to chain up the stitches, the chains, uh, and you like make the ladder stitch, it just shrinks the blanket, right? So I didn't really want to do that and I found a tutorial where you don't have those chains. You're actually making loops. So you're actually crocheting, you know the, the width that you want and uh, it's fabulous, really fabulous. And it's a lot less time consuming in my mind. Anyway, uh, this took, oh my goodness, I think I want to I wanna say it took eight balls of blanket yarn for the gray, one of the black, uh, one of the red, and a half a, 
have very little of the white. So I think that they will love this. So this was for Mike. <laughs> so that I can say that I like him. I love him. He's great. So I made that, but it did take me a long time. And boy, oh boy, I had to wear t-shirt and shorts when I was when it was getting big and it was sitting in my lap. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, was that ever warm. <laughs> I literally, as soon as I sat down to work on it, at shorts and a t-shirt, because there's no way that I could have done this any other way. Anyway, I love it, I love it. Oh, and so what I did, I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe the tutorial had uh, double crochets, but I wanted more dense, not so holy. So I did half double crochets. So basically when she did the tutorial, you do the half double crochets and you do, uh, I think it's five double crochets. I mean, she did, I think she did five double crochets, then 10, a loop of 10 stitches, chains, and then, you know, five. I, uh, my loops, because I wanted it tighter. I didn't want the loop so loose. I did five half double crochets and seven chains to make the loops. And then the last row, because what happens with with uh, Jacob's ladder, let me see, which side is the, the end? Uh, I can't remember which side is the end. I did, that means I did a good job on both ends. So when you, oh, so this is the beginning, right? And then when you do the end, uh, when you do the last loop, you have to go over and pick up that last stitch into the last uh, just half double crochet. But what I did was I went down the last loop I wanted. I didn't want it to be too loose. So I did only four chains uh, on the last loop to make it nice and tight. And as you can see, it's nice and tight in there. And I did not put a border because I think... It looks good Ugh. without the, I think it looks good without the a border, right? And, I, and besides, when you do a border, I did not want to break the color. I did not want to add in the, like a gray all the way to block this because I wanted the color to go straight to the end. Anyway, I love it. And Jacob's Ladder, I love it because, you know, you're doing the, 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 uh, the ladder and then when you change color, it drops, you know, the color changes rows. I love it, I love it. So I did that. So good, but a lot of work, obviously. So that will be going to my future son-in-law. Okay, I'll put that away. All right, so what else have I been up to? I have been sewing, um, which I'm gonna show you a little, in a little bit, some other sewing. But I've been trying, okay, so I think I mentioned that I've been trying to break away from using wrapping paper at Christmas. I still have a lot of wrapping paper left over from past years, like a lot. So I will use it, but I'm trying to break away from it. So I'm trying to be creative in my wrapping, you know, Christmas presents. So uh, I think you also know that I, I collect a lot of scrappy fabrics and I pick through a lot of the Christmas fabrics and I piece them together. Now I don't want to open this because it is for a swap and <laughs> I don't want to show you what's inside. But I basically pieced together some Christmas fabrics and then I used, you know, ribbons and stuff to close it up. And this way the, the gift recipient can either, it is lined so there's a, 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 a solid fabric inside which you can see it's yellow, yellow with little yarn balls. Um, they can either reuse the bag for another gift or project bag or whatever. Uh, and I'm doing it for my family too. So I'm gonna be making, I'm making all these bags for their gifts. And if, after they open them, they can either give them back to me and they'll get reused next year, or they can take them home and use them for whatever, when they travel, put shoes in or whatever, depending on the size of the bag. But that's what I've been doing. So some some bags will be solid Christmas themed uh, because the fabrics that I have are bigger, and I I don't have the heart to cut it up. So, but the ones that are already small little pieces, I just piece together, 
in, you know me, I like scrappy and all colors go together in my mind. So I've been, I did that. And then I also did, like I had somebody gave me some fabric that had, these are not necessarily Christmas themed, but they're kind of giving me the Chris, old Christmas vibes. And they were panels. And I did not have the heart to cut up the panels. So I did that and then I found some other fabric that had teddy bears on the other side. So I got two bags out of this. Uh, and again, I just lined it with regular. So they are lined and they're just drawstring. And you can put your gift in there. So that's what I'm doing. And then um, I kind of ran out of the cording that I use for the bags. And so I decided to make my own, which I've done before. And I actually, so I made a bunch. This was just like in an hour's work. It's so fast. I'm just, I'm just gonna use these for, for my gift bags. And these are using cotton, like leftover cotton. And the tutorial that I used was from Zelda NRJ3. And I believe she calls it a sing, foundation single crochet or something like that. But I use it to make really nice eye cords. And now Zelda, when she does a tutorial, she takes out a certain amount of yarn and then starts at that base. So, so that she's got you, because you have two yarns going at the same time. I just use two balls of cotton, kitchen cotton, and I got two balls going and I just keep going until I have a length that I need. And so I've made a bunch of these and I'm, I just have a, bunch of cotton sitting beside my my uh, seat when I'm watching TV and then just some because like the uh, the blanket that I made was really hard on the hands it's, it's thick yarn it's heavy it's so every once in a while I need a break and I would just but I can't break and do nothing so I just made eye cords but I'll leave the link for Zelda's tutorial and just keep in mind like I said she takes out a certain length and works with it I just use two balls going at the same time really easy fast if you need like eye cords and she, like I said you can absolutely do her theory and you start it as a single uh, foundation single crochet absolutely uh, that's what it's intended for but I use it to make eye cords so yes I've made a bunch of these if I find a panel I use it even though this is not very Christmassy or it's not a Christmas themed fabric, but I think it'll work well for a child's gift. So that's going um, to, in, in actually these are in my swap, so are these. So then I thought, okay, I can do um, other things, not just fabric. So I had some red and I crocheted a gift bag and I even crocheted the eye cord. This is probably not the best eye cord for this because it's yarn and it's stretchy, but it'll pass. And again, I'm not going to show you what's inside because um, it's a swap. Anyway, these are so easy. You just do, you know, your chain, how much, how wide you want it, and then you go round and round and round and round and round uh, using the back chains until you create this. And if you find that if you're, if it, the stitches are too holy, you just wrap your gift in tissue paper, stick it in there. And then you do a little a channel. I decided to use a different color. You use a different channel. Uh, and then you put your eye code in. So that's a gift bag. And then I thought I'd knit one with some leftover yarn. Okay, I'm not going to show you what's in there. But I knitted one. So and this is, I'm not sure what yarn this is. But it was, I had a little bit left over. And it's, it's great. Like these bags are fabulous. And like I said, the recipient can use them reuse them or give them back right and they'll get reused so I did that and this was really quick this was this I couldn't do I did it in the round but then I had to seam the bottom and then uh, make a channel up here uh, and I'm gonna try to show you without showing you the gift and then I just sewed sewed uh, folded it over made sure that there's a hole that there's a a hole for the eye cord and then there you go they're so cute right so I've been making lots of those and then lastly the last thing that I have to show you and we're at like 15 minutes so this is going to be under 20 minutes 
Um, I don't know if you're any of you are aware, there is another YouTuber, she doesn't post a lot, but she is a yarny YouTuber, and uh, I believe her channel is Sherry K Loves Crochet, but if I'm wrong, I'll leave a link for that anyway. Uh, she is part of this community, and she unfortunately lost her daughter tragically, and her daughter left behind a husband and two children, one of them being in a, a very young, like I think eight or nine month old baby. And so they've been trying to raise money for the funeral expenses and to get the family out of uh, the their home because that's where the tragedy happened. So, you know, they need a fresh start. Um, and Mama Swift and uh, a few others had a, um, an auction and a lot of people auctioned off stuff. They raised quite a lot of money, $10,000, I believe, nine or 10,000. And, but their goal is 20,000, which in these days is really nothing. You know, like it, it's not a lot to start fresh, right? And funeral expenses. Anyway, uh, Billy um, is doing another auction. This uh, Saturday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Billy, with the help of uh, Trish at Mama Swift, they're going to be having a second auction. So they were asking people to donate something that they could auction off. And I'm nervous about this, but I'm going to auction off. I made two bags for the auction. I'm really nervous. <laughs> Uh, that it's not going to be, that it's going to be subpar, right? But even if I can get like 20 bucks, that would be great. Uh, so the first bag that I made, and I know I'm, I normally do scrappy stuff, and believe me, this is scrappy. So a friend of mine and I are, uh, we went to like hunting for fabrics, places where we can get fabric scraps, and we went to an upholsterer and they had upholstery fabric. Believe it or not, this is one piece, and then this is a different pattern, but it looks so good together, right? And then this is a third piece, and it is a tote bag, and it is using, I have the webbing as handles, and hold on, it's box bottom. It's quite sturdy, so you can actually carry quite a bit. Um, box bottom. And inside is just a gray, sturdy, kind of like an upholstery fabric. And there's, uh, I decided to play with my, my machine. My sewing machine has a embroidery button or capabilities. So I decided to play with that. So there is a pocket inside, pretty sturdy. Um, I think that this will last you a while, I hope. Anyway, so this will be one of the bags that I auction off. Like I said, I don't know what they're worth because all of my stuff is made with scraps or, you know, whatever I can find. Um, but I put a lot of work into this. I'm very proud of it. And it is canvas. It's a, it's a very sturdy canvas. So that's one of the bags that I'm going to auction off. And then the other one is a traditional... I found... When I make bags and people reach out to me to make bags, um, which I do, and if you're interested, just send me an email. I try to gear it towards something that you will like, but I am limited because I'm working with scraps of what I have. Anyway, um, I found that a lot of people love flowers, so I made a flower one. I picked through a lot of pieces of fabric that I had that were flower. And then this is the other side. This is definitely a project bag, but it's a decent project bag. I don't even know what size it is. I'll measure it and let, let people know on Saturday. So it is also box bottom, and I think you could fit a decent sized blanket in here. Uh, so again, it's box bottom. There's no pocket inside, but it is lined with a beautiful red flower. And uh, it's got nice, Cording. Hold on. And it's basically, it's a project bag, but it is pretty sturdy because I used a, a heavy duty lining. It's so funny. And when I started making these, I ordered uh, interfacing online. So I ordered it and I had no idea. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. And 
so I ordered this line and it came and it was so stiff and I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, how am I gonna use this? But people love it. People love these sturdy, um, the, the sturdiness of the bags. So anyway, this will be the second bag uh, that I auction off. I have no idea what it's worth, what I will get, but I'm trying, I'm trying to, and I will ship it to anybody who, anywhere in the, in the world. So that's our contribution, making the item plus the shipping to whoever bids, whoever wins the bid. Um, I would make more bags, but it's the shipping. I can make lots of bags. I have lots of fabric. I just can't afford to ship to that many people, not many winners, so, or bid winners. So I've decided on two because shipping is ridiculous. Uh, so if you are interested, there's lots of other things that are being donated to auction off. It is on YouTube. It is going to be on Billy's channel, Billy the Crafty Floridian, and Mama uh, Trish from Mama Swift. Uh, they're going to be host, and I don't know if there's other people helping, but I will be there. And if the internet gods allow me, I will join in on the live. Uh, to show off the bags if you're interested come on by I will leave the link to Billy's channel and like I said it's November 5th at 8 p.m. and it's just something little that I could do to help out you know uh, we all need a little help in life sometimes you know every once in a while you do need a little help so again I will leave the link and hopefully we'll see you guys uh, on um, and I will leave the little channel for, like I said, the link for Billy's channel and for Trisha's channel. Um, they're awesome little channels. Like, well, I say little, they're not that little. <laughs> but they're great channels. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think Trish posts very often. And Billy's kind of posts maybe once a week, maybe. Um, but yeah, if you want uh, another channel, another couple of channels to watch, they're great. Anyway, uh, I think that's all I have and we're at 22 minutes, so I am feeling pretty good about that. I don't want to keep you too long. Um, hopefully everyone is having a wonderful week and we will talk soon.